Real gardeners tend to fall in love pretty readily, I've discovered. Firstly, you've got the generalists, uh, those that like a broad range of plants, such as myself. I've got a list of favourites a mile long. And then there are the specialists. Now, this garden has 150 different varieties of camellias, so it's pretty clear which way that's going. Camellias originate in East Asia, particularly China and Japan, and they're well suited to growing in the southern half of Australia. So what do these slow-growing small trees or large shrubs bring to our gardens? Essentially, winter to early spring flowering. There are three main tribes of camellias and they flower in succession. The first, the Sasanquas, start in May. They're small flowers, small leaves, but they're actually quite sun tough. Then there's the more dramatic Japonicas over my right shoulder. Now these have got medium to large flowers, beautiful colours, and they start flowering in June and go right through to September. And lastly, the big ones, the reticulatas. These are very dramatic flowers, large and really very showy. And they start in late spring and go through to October. The curious thing about both azaleas and camellias is that they make one giant growth spurt. And that happens as soon as the flowers start to fall and goes into early summer. So it's important that you apply your fertilizers just at the end of the flowering season. But the question is, which one to use? This Aussie biological formulation has a slightly acid reaction, which is needed by camellias, azaleas, and even roses in order to effectively uptake the nutrients. This Treforte M biological plant food contains a host of Australian microbes, which are highly beneficial to soil-borne life, making them head and shoulders above high nitrogen conventional fertilizers. You may have noticed a few roses in the garden, and these fill the rest of the flowering calendar, blooming from spring right through to the end of autumn. They need feeding more regularly to keep growth and new flowers forming across the nine months. This is a controlled release formulation, and with roses, you need to apply it every three months from September all the way through to March. And the quantity, six, of these cupfuls will cover a square metre, and that's what you'd need for a plant of this size, and the same goes for camellias. So, what's the big reward for this love of roses, azaleas and camellias? 12 months of exquisite flowers that you can admire on a daily basis and even pick to bring the colour and magic indoors.